Our Lord, in your protection the King will rejoice, and of your help, of your victories, he will greatly shout in jubilation. For you have given him the desire of his heart, and you have not refused the desires that his lips have made known. For you meet him with blessings of good things, and you place on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked from you life, and you gave to him a length of days lasting forever. With your help, his reputation is great. You have placed upon him both majesty and dignity, because you have appointed him to forever be a source of blessing, and you have made him joyful with the mirth of your presence. For the King trusts in the Lord, and by the gracious faithfulness of the Most High, He will stand firm. He will not falter. Our Lord, may your hand come and light upon all your enemies, your right hand upon those who hate you. For when you arrive, your presence will make them well, as if they were in a fiery furnace. The Lord's anger will engulf them, and the fire will consume them. You will cause their fruit, their influence to vanish from the earth and their seed their legacy from among the sons of men for they have aggressively turned evil and against you they have schemed a wicked plan but they will not prevail they will achieve nothing for you will oblige them to tuck tail and run. When your bowstrings are bent and your drawn arrows are facing them. Rise up, our Lord, in your might, and we, we will sing about and praise your strength. <laughs> 